Hi guys, this is going to be a collective haul of like what I got for Christmas, stuff that I bought myself, and it, like a lot, some of this stuff is even from months back, like before my bar birthday in October and everything, but I wanted to show you this stuff, so that way, since I am starting, I know it's been a while, starting to make video videos again, you guys can ask for reviews, you know some of the stuff I got, and plus I just want to, you know, let you know about the products I picked up. But to go ahead and get started, none of this is going to be in a perfect order of how I got it. I kind of tried to organize it in like brushes, face stuff, eye stuff, whatever. But it's still not exactly organized. But to get started, first stuff I'm going to talk about are the Real Technique brushes, which I freaking love. All my brushes are dirty because tonight is going to be a um, brush washing night, whatever. But... This is the first one, and it is the large powder brush, or it's called just powder brush, and buffing I love brush, it. which I love this I one. Also got today love all of them. is the contour brush, and I actually got these from Kohl's because somebody gave me a Kohl's gift card for Christmas, and I never shop there, but now I have a reason because they have Real Techniques and Lorac. Um, this is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love it. I was using it for foundation today. Nice. That one I didn't get today, but this one I got today. And it is the Pointed the Foundation Brush. Brush. Love it. Accent Brush. Like that. It's very tiny, if you can see that. The next one is the blush brush, and it just is very soft. I love it, too. Um, I got it today. Setting brush. Detailed brush. And then there's that tiny. The next one is a eyeshadow brush. And sorry, that was someone walking out. The brushes I want to talk about, I'm so excited to review because everybody knows Sigma, when it first came out, was like, oh my god, they're MAC dupes. Well, then they came out with their Sigma X Kabuki brushes, and I love them for foundation. And that was a weird, ooh. <laughs> but anyways, I love them for foundation. Somebody has came out with a dupe, and it's called RC Cosmetics. And these are all dirty. But, um... I got my friend a set for Christmas because I like them so much. I can tell the differences in some of the shapes and all that. I ha I'm going to wash them tonight for the first time. Um, and I'll see how the shedding works and all that. But I pretty much freaking love them. Like they have the pointed one just like Sigma. Some of them are different. But this is the pointed one. Um, this I think is like a different shape than it's supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be the angled one. But it, like, the, it doesn't matter. The shape isn't ever what I love about them, except for the pointed one. It's actually how they work. My favorite one and my favorite one in the Sigma ones are the is the rounded dome or whatever it's called. That one. This is one of the smaller ones, and this one is like a shape like this. Kind of. I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's tapered in instead of up. <laughs> Um, this one is another one from the, of the dome ones. This one, also for spot concealing and concealing under the eye, is this one. And this one is the flat top. Kabuki. Well, I don't think that's what they're called. I don't know what they're called, but anyways. The reason why they duped them is because these, the entire set that I, that, the first set that I got, I've gotten different sets now and everything like that, but, like, for the smaller ones, I got myself that set. Um, but, they, sorry, that was a lot of butts. They, the price for these is, like, in general, 20 bucks. Sometimes they'll have sales and they'll be cheaper, which is crazy. <laughs> but it's awesome. The next ones I'm going to talk about are, I don't have, I think it was, like, a, I know it's a, I didn't bring all of these out is what I was what I'm trying to say because some of them are in my purse and all that but the MAC holiday set for brushes and it came with the little purse um the little purse is in my car and the brushes are in my purse but they are the MAC travel brushes I don't know if these are actual numbers but they're the 214 SE 
and the 266 SE. There's an angle brush and a very short shader brush. Love those. Um, I just wanted to try some of their travel sets. The next thing I want to talk about is I also don't have all of these out here, but you'll get the idea, are some of the Sonia Kashuk uh, five-piece brush sets. The first one is this, and there's a powder brush, and it looks like that print. It's got the gold ferrule and stuff. This is like a big crease brush. I love it. And this is a concealer brush. I'm not a huge fan of like flat concealer and foundation brushes, but I've been getting more into them, I guess. Like I'm skeptical of them, but I've been getting more into them. This one is a um, like synthetic crease brush. I don't know. It's just like a blendy brush. I use it for foundation one day for my um, BB cream, which I've been trying out. Um, and the, these are two different sets, like this set with this print was is in a set, and this set with this print is in a set. I got two of those, I just didn't bring them all out, but you get the idea. The Revlon Just Benton Kissable Balm Stain. I have a different color of this, I just picked this one up because it was a random color and I liked it. And, um, it was on sale, like a dollar fifty or something like that, I'm not sure. Um, it's been, like like I said, some of this stuff has been a while since I got it. The next one is the Elf Matte Lip Color, which is kind of looks like the same format as the L'Oreal ones. It's like a dark red. It's actually like a bright red, but the tree looks dark. But that's it. The next thing I got this one, I got the brush set, is I got Night Moth Lip Liner, and I also picked up Rebel Lipstick, which is I love. Smashbox! Masterclass 2 palette, and it is amazing as everyone is saying. I love it. Looks like that. The next thing is the Tarte Off the Cuff blush. I was palette. so excited to get this. The Clarisonic. <laughs> I think this is, is this a Mia 2? Yeah. Yeah, Mia 2. My husband got it for me. I think it says, yeah, right there. Duh, Courtney. It's the Mia 2. Let me make it bigger because I'm kind of sitting far away. It's right here. It's a swatch. It's called the Lid Lash Shadow Pin by Pixie. And it's called Peach Pave or Peach Pave, something like that. But really the pretty. one of the NYX glitter roll-on shimmers. And this one is in almond. And it's I love it. It is the Hyper Color Brow and Hair Powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills and look at this packaging it's gorgeous but I got this one and it is that color this is like their crazy brow you can put it in your hair like hair chalk lavender I know it's crazy actually that's not the name of it I don't have the other boxes the pink one is called in the pink and this blue one is called royal I can't remember what the lavender color is, but it is gorgeous, and I got each of those for three bucks, and I got all of the um, e.l.f. blushes offline, and plus two of their duo powders, and I love them. Like, this isn't all of them, but I just brought some of them out, and I got Frat Boy Blush. Another thing I got is the MAC Prep and Prime in Highlighter in Radiant Rose, and I have been loving it. The next thing was something, I think it came with my Clarisonic, or it was like a 100 point perk or something, and it is the BB Dr. Jart Black Label Detox BB Beauty Balm, um, and it's got SPF 25 in it, and it looks like this. I and just got the, like, covered. little, not sample size, but you know how Sephora has, like, the smaller sizes for, like, ten bucks. Travel size, I guess, of the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray for oil control because I ran it on my big size. The next one is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. I think this, um, broke me out, so I have quit using it for a while, and I'm going to try and use it again and see if I break out again and see what happens. The next thing is the No More Pores Pore Refiner by Dr. Brandt. 
my coastal scents hot pots coastal scents had a sale and all the hot pots were 99 cents and i got a palette i got so many that i got a palette worth plus i thought oh i'll just put them in my empty mag palette right no not right because the magnet system doesn't work because it, i it was an old palette that i popped the tray out of and then the magnet ended up falling out, so it just wasn't working. So I ended up using this. I glued a magnet on my four-pan MAC palette, one of the old ones. And I got these three hot pots in there. They're super pretty. And they're so big for 99 cents. They're not always 99 cents. They're normally $1.99, but come on. Then I also put them, like, I have half, um, half of this filled with my Inglot shadows, but the other... Half has my Coastal Sins Hot Pot. So those are my Inglot ones, but the and round ones are for Christmas. Christmas. Like, and I also have something sentimental for my... Like, I say sentimental, like, not like it made me cry, but it was like, not like a... What do you call it? Not a beauty gift is what I mean. It's like for my wedding picture, because I got married. But she got me this frame. I don't have my picture on it yet, so I'm like trying to cover up the people that aren't me. But she got me this frame. I'm going to put my wedding picture in it. And then her mom also got me um, this frame. And she put our wedding picture in it. It's actually my husband's fault that my friend couldn't get a picture. Because he never texted her back. Because she asked, she was going to ask him which picture. And like get the picture from I'm him. So and then put it in there. excited about. I got these um, at Marshall's today for $7.99. They are called Mini Bath Birthday Cake Mini Bath Ice Cream. They're like bath bombs from Lush and they smell like vanilla goodness. They smell so good. Then my friend with that picture frame also got me this yummy smelling warm vanilla sugar spray. And then uh, this is something I got a while back but my favorite, it's like one of my favorite scents is the Secret Wonderland spray which I always say my favorite and that always changes like I mix so many scents it's ridiculous um this is actually a lush bath bomb that I got and it, I don't remember the name of it now which is kind of silly but it looks like this and it's like a cinnamon dry scent. shampoo I don't know why I took that off carried away it's like a berry scented which I'm surprised I liked it because I hate like grape and berry scents but it's it's got a little twist to it the next one is pink chiffon and my favorite probably out of this group is velvet sugar and the little packaging is so cute too and then the next last but not least I think last but not least we'll see um our peach bellini deep cleansing hand soap from Bath and Body Works. I got this from work in a Secret Santa gift. And my Secret Santa actually got me a Sephora gift card, so that's what I got. So my Sephora stuff from. And then this Paris Amour Pocket Back Antibacterial Soap. It's so cute. It has little sparkles in it. It's, it's adorable. Um, but that is the last of it. And I know it was a long haul, but I am ready to make some more videos. Bye!